Hey, hey, how you doing? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all is well, and I hope your guitar journey is going famously. Today you're going to learn the acoustic Chris Cornell version of Billie Jean. Chris Cornell did an absolute stirring version of this song, and this lesson is a special request from YouTube viewer Variana Everything. So a shout out to Variana Everything. Thank you for uh, suggesting this song. And this is in standard A440 tuning. So go ahead and tune your guitars low to high, E, A, D, G, B, and E. Now the big thing about this song is the timing. The Michael Jackson version had that do 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 one and two and three and four and feel, right? Whereas this version has a very one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? The song is in 6-8 time, and that really lends to the kind of hauntingness of the, of, the, of the song. So I'm going to show you the strum patterns that fit that timing and the arpeggiation patterns. Count it like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you'll have it. And as far as arrangement-wise, a lot of the song is the same parts repeated. Uh, there's an intro, and then basically, which is the same arpeggiation pattern as verse 1. Uh, the verse 1 goes right into verse 2, and then there's the pre-chorus, uh, chorus, and then verse 3, which is the same as verse 1, verse 4, which is the same as verse 2. So verse 1 and 3 are the same, verse 2 and 4 is the same. Pre-chorus 2, same as pre-chorus 1, and then the chorus outro, which is basically the same as the first chorus, uh, except he adds a little bit onto the end of it. And that's it. So basically three parts, you'll have this whole song down. For the intro, all you're going to do is play an E minor chord, and here's the pattern. Basically, you're going to play every time he arpeggiates. So he arpeggiates on the E minor chord, the A minor chord, and the C chord. You're going to do the same pattern. Right down the strings and right up. So basically, down, 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 up, up, up. Down, 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 up, up, up. That's the pattern. Right, He's not skipping any strings or anything. So with all the chords, same thing. Here's A minor. Down, 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 up, 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 right down the strings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? And you'll see it tabbed out. For the intro, do the hold your E minor chord, and he basically plays four times. He goes through it. Then he starts the first verse. So the chords in the first verse, you're going to need this E minor chord. Like in the intro, there's an A minor. And a C major. And then we're going to play this chord where you're going to take the C and move it up a whole step or two frets. We're going to call that chord D add 9 add 11. And it's just the C major moved up two frets. Let me play the first verse for you and then I'll go back and explain it. She was more like a beauty queen from a movie screen. It'll sound like this. So the progression is basically E minor for four. You're going to do this four times, that pattern. Then you're going to go to the A minor, do it twice. Then go back to the E minor for two. Uh, and then A minor again for two. So basically E minor, A minor, and then you do it again, E minor, A minor. Then you go to the C chord and you arpeggiate it once. And then you strum it. And the pattern, and we're going to use this pattern throughout the song, so you want to get this down. Down, up, down, up. That's very important. Down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. Okay, so you arpeggiates the C. Do the strum pattern, then move it up a whole step to the D, add 9, add 11. Same pattern. Down, up, down, up. And that ends the first verse, and it goes back to E minor for verse 2. She said her name was Billie Jean. And hey, if you get a second, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel really helps us to keep bringing the content, and then you'll be notified when we have new lessons up, right? Um, leave a comment below. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see coming up. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up. 
uh, share it, and thank you so much for your support. Now verse two is a little shorter than verse one, so let me play verse two for you, and this starts with, uh, she said her name was Billie Jean and she caused the scene. Same arpeggiation pattern, I'll play it for you first, it sounds like this. that pre-chorus. All right, so verse two, same as verse four, it's shorter. Basically, you're gonna play that E minor chord arpeggiated four times to the A minor chord arpeggiated twice back to E minor. And what I do there is I arpeggiate it once and then I strum it once. And that strumming is same as before, down, up, down, up, down, right? That's the pattern throughout the song we're gonna use. Uh, and then what he does a lot too is he'll, he'll do this little embellishment on that E minor chord where you can lift off on the open D string and hammer to that second fret D string. Kind of makes it when it's open like an E minor seventh chord. And he'll do that throughout the song. And if you're having some trouble changing these chords, maybe the arpeggiation is throwing you off, um, I could really help you with that. So much is about the chord changing technique you're using and the fret hand technique. Click on that link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you my uh, a killer long play extended video. It's not on YouTube with my essential chord changing techniques. It'll really get your chord changes blasted to the next level. It's packed with exercises and technique tips, and I'll pair it with an ebook, which has more uh, chord charts in it, more exercises, more lessons. Killer one-two punch, I'll send them both to you for free, just click on that link below. We're into the pre-chorus. The people always uh, told me, be careful what you do. Now, we're gonna start strumming now, because we have to build up into this chorus section, right? So we wanna build that tension. So you hear the chords, you're gonna use C. People always told me, be careful, E minor, what you do. C, don't go around breaking young girls' hearts, E minor. And you could embellish that again with an E minor seventh. C again, mama always told me, E minor, be careful what you love. So it's basically C, D minor three times. And then C again, be careful what you do before the lie. Lie becomes the truth. That's a B sus four chord he plays live. So you're kind of forming like a B power chord with an open high E and open B string. Down, up, down, up, down. Right? Same strum pattern again. Now, if you don't, if that chord is hard for you to play, you could play a B7 chord. Right? And it'll fit just fine. So either one. But what he does live plays it like that. Let me play uh, the whole pre-chorus for you. It'll sound like this. To the chorus and the strum pattern they're using down up down up down up down up that fits nicely in this timing so on the c chord down up down up down up down up e minor down up down up down up down up right so we're sailing right through this great job you know you know the intro you know verse one which is the same as verse three you know verse two which is the same as verse four and now you know the pre-chorus and there's he plays a pre-chorus twice and it's both the same so that goes into the big chorus and this is where it really builds up right and that's billy jean is not my lover she's just a girl who says that i am the one so let me play the chorus for you and remember this is kind of built up to this so you got to kind of put some energy into it and uh you know some of the passion right uh it starts with that billy jean is not my lover Verse 3. 40 days, you're back to the quiet, haunting arpeggiation. 
So here's the chords in the chorus. E minor, do the strum pattern one time. Billy Jean, A minor one time. It's not my lover. E minor two times. And you could do that little embellishment if you want. And then you repeat that. Uh, she's just a girl. Girl, A minor. E minor who says that I... Now, he goes into this long series of chords where you're going to have to move. Let me show you one way to play them. So it's going to be A minor, then move that up a whole step or two frets. And I play it with the open A string. No low E string on all these chords. And that's going to be, uh, we'll call that D6-9 over A. Then what I do is I play this chord, uh, which is, uh, we're going to call that C over A. So what you're going to do is, you know how you play like an A chord, A major, here at the second fret? Move that up to the fifth fret. So technically it's like a C bar chord, because you're playing these three, the a D, G, and B at the fifth fret, but with the open A string. And I throw in the high E string too. Right? So that's C over A. Now, when I see him play it live, he'll play it with a one finger bar like that. And you could do that if that's easier for you. Um, but I like putting that high E string in there just because to give the acoustic as much full bodiness as possible. And then all you do is you move that up a whole step or two frets. So now it's at the seventh fret, jamming all three fingers in that seventh fret. And that's like a D add nine over A because we're playing the open A string, right? So here's the four chords, A minor, up a whole step, Right, D6-9 over A, then do that A voicing, but at the 5th fret, C over A, up a whole step, D, add 9 over A. Okay? And again, you could do those chords like this if that's easier for you. So lyrically where that falls is you're on E minor for two times through the pattern. He says that I, and he holds that I, and that's when you go to the A minor and the 1. And then up a whole step, but, the but is on the D6-9, but the kid, and on the kid, move that up to that C over A, is not my son. And son, you go back to that E minor. Play the strum four times, and then you do it again. You know, because she says, I am, you go that A minor again, the one, right, D6-9. But the kid is not my son. Back to E minor. So this time on E minor, the last time when you go to a down, up, down, up. And then he does the fast strumming with the stop. Down, up, down, up, down. And then it goes in back in the verse 3 for 40 days and 40 nights. So after verse 3 and 4, another pre-chorus, same as the first pre-chorus, and then you're at the end of the song. It's the last chorus, which is also the outro of the song. So basically, you play the chorus same exact as before. The only thing different is he adds two vocal lines. But the kid is not my son, right? The way we ended that, right? Then just throw in a little bit of chucking, because you don't want all that dead space, because you've built up to this big ending crescendo. She says, I am the one, and you go through those chords again. I am the one, A, A minor, D, 6, 9 over A, but the kid, and then up a whole step to D, not my son. That's where there's a change there. Instead of going to the E minor, he goes to the C on son, little curveball there. And then what he does there is the same thing he did on the E minor in the previous chorus, where you strum it once, down, and then... And then he does that with the stops on the C. So, and then he goes into the, so uh, take my strong advice. Back to that progression again. Now this time, remember to always think twice. And he does the E minor, not the C. At the very last time, stops, don't uh, do think twice. I'll play that last chorus for you. It'll sound like this.
think twice. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Really fun song to play and add to your song catalog. Stay tuned. I got tons more killer lessons coming up. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. That really helps us to keep bringing the content as well as you'll be notified when we have new lessons up. Um, click on that link below. I'll send you a free video lesson on an ebook on essential chord changing skills packed with technique tips, exercises. I pair the video lesson with an ebook, send it to you for free. Just click below. And I just dropped a new record with my original band, Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego, California. Uh, it's a slamming record. I'm really stoked about it. I'd love for you to check it out. It's streaming on all the platforms. I'll put links to all of that below. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Drop me an email. And if you have any questions about the gear I use or the studio recording techniques, the songs, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for tuning in. So appreciate your support over the years and years. Uh, keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care. I'll see you in the next lesson and rock on.